welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we will be doing a what I eat in a day on keto for weight loss. So I got my workout in this morning. I'll be honest, I did not want to work out. I was so tired, but no excuses. I got my workout in and it felt really good. So I did some arm workouts today and then um, I have been incorporating cardio as much as I can during the week. But I was running and then I came across like a video saying that if you do more of an incline and fast walk, you burn more calories. And I've been liking that a lot better. I actually been sweating a lot more doing that than versus running. So that has been working for me. I put my treadmill all the way to incline of 10. And then usually I go up to like three or a little bit past three, like depending how fast I could walk. But let me tell you. I am sweating by the end of that. So that felt really good. Definitely give that a try if you're trying to incorporate a little bit more cardio. It really does work, but you don't want to like fully run because I know it's hard for people to run sometimes. So doing it at an incline and fast walking really helps a lot. So I've been liking that. But yeah, we got our workout in. I got quickly ready just for the day. I'm kind of going to be here at home today. Um, I got to just clean my house up a little bit. I get my hair done tomorrow. I'm super excited to get my hair done tomorrow. I'm going to change it. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. It's going to be a little different, but it's going to look super cute. So today I'm just going to be at home cleaning my house and getting some things that I need to get done. And while I do that, I will show y'all what meals I will be having today. So I have been fasting since yesterday around 7 o'clock. Um, and now it's officially a little bit past 11 o'clock. So we're going to have our first meal of the day. I'm going to be making some lunch today. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, so for lunch today, I bought a rotisserie chicken on Thursday when I went grocery, well yesterday when I went grocery shopping. And I should have shredded it as soon as I got it, but I was running behind on time and I didn't have time to shred it. And then I totally forgot about it and I had popped it in the fridge. So it's cold, it's gonna be a little bit harder to shred, but we have a rotisserie chicken I'm gonna shred. Now this is gonna be for a couple of meals um, for the week throughout my, for my lunch. So lately, y'all know I plan out my meals for dinner. Um, and most of the time I wouldn't really like buy stuff for lunch. I would kind of just eat what I have here at home, but I've been planning a lunch, one lunch a week. So last week I was eating like that, the, the low carb tortilla with the cheese, the turkey, like a roll up. I bought that super good. And then this week we're going to go ahead and make a buffalo chicken dip. And then I'm going to have it in my fridge for throughout the week for lunch. I'll probably eat it like it'll probably last about three days. It'll be super good. So I just bought an easy rotisserie chicken for it. But you can definitely like boil some chicken thighs and shred it up that way or some chicken breasts, whatever you like. But I thought it was easier to buy a rotisserie chicken. Okay, so this buffalo chicken dip is like super easy to make. Guys, I used to eat this so much at the beginning of my journey and I don't know why I stopped eating it. And the other day it popped in my head and I was like, oh my God, I haven't had that in forever. Let me make it. So literally like four ingredients. This is what I use to dip it with. So I'm gonna eat this with some celery. Um, I think, I don't, I don't really know what else I would pretty much eat this with. I've always just ate it with celery, but if there's any other ideas, comment down below what y'all think this would go good with. But celery is like the bomb with buffalo, so that's what I like to eat it with. So we got some celery. Um, usually I like to change up my cheeses too. I'll go in with some mozzarella cheese, sometimes cheddar cheese, depending how I'm feeling. But this is a Monterey Jack mix with jalapeno peppers, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Then you're gonna need some cream cheese, any type of chicken, of course, rotisserie, and then you're gonna go in with some buffalo sauce. I got some Sweet Baby Ray's a buffalo wing sauce right here. So I get a bowl with the lid because I'm gonna store this in my fridge for the week. And first thing we're gonna do is start shredding this cold rotisserie chicken that I so regret not shredding yesterday, but it's okay. So I love rotisserie chicken. Then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and shred this up until it's all shredded up and then we're gonna go ahead and add it to our bowl. And I do like put the skin in here too. You don't have to, but I like the skin with it. All right, you guys, I shredded up my chicken, but I totally forgot. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. So I'm gonna transfer it to this bowl. And then when it's done, I'll store it in this one. But get a microwave safe bowl. Guys, in the middle of me shredding. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, I don't know what she was barking at. I guess because I started talking, she thought somebody was here. But, okay, so I put it in the bowl. But in the middle of me 
shredding my chicken. I get a, a call from the school nurse from my kid's school. And the other time, the other day, a few days ago, I had posted that my middle son, he's going to need glasses. I had no idea. Like, I feel so bad. But, um, and now I know why, like, he was kind of struggling in school. He kept telling me he getting headaches. And they tested him for his vision. And he has really bad vision. Like, Ray needs glasses, his dad. He has really bad stigmatisms. So this whole time, he can't even, like, see what's on the board. And... I feel so bad. You know, kids don't know what their vision is supposed to be. Like, they they don't know what they're supposed to see. So, um, but yeah, I'm glad we got that problem solved. He got glasses, but the nurse just called me. Today was his first day wearing them to school. And I guess he bumped into a kid at, at recess, like, running. Like, he has to get used to the glasses. And his prescription is so high that it's going to take months for him to get used to it. So, I have to, like, train his eyes. And it's going to take some time. So, literally, like, six days a week. Each, each time when he comes home, I have to put an eye patch on an eye. So one day it has to be on this side, the next day it has to be on this side. He has to wear an eye patch and just see with one eye. But I don't know, like he was seeing pretty fine yesterday when I was like testing him with letters and stuff. And right away, like it made a difference. So I'm really happy he's got his glasses. But my poor baby, he bumped his head. I'm like, yeah, he has to get used to those glasses. Today's his first day wearing them. It's going to be a little difficult for him, but he looks so cute. But anyways, yeah, I got a phone call in the middle of this. But we got some shredded chicken in our bowl. Let's go ahead and add our other ingredients. Okay, now to your shredded chicken, we're going to add in some cream cheese. This is just four ounces. I didn't want to add too much because I'm going to add the other cheese as well. But you could add as much as you like. So four ounces. And then we're going to go ahead and add the Monterey Jack cheese or any kind of cheese that you want to use. I'm probably going to put in like half a cup. I mean, I don't have much in here. I'll probably just use this bag. But you can put in like half a cup to a cup. Then I go ahead and season with some salt, pepper, and then you can just add any seasonings you like, really. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of garlic powder. And we're going to pop this in the microwave. I'm going to do it for like a minute until the cheese is melted, and then we're going to give it a good stir. Okay, I put it one minute in the microwave. Oh, this smells so good already. I'm pretty sure it needs to be in there longer, but you just want the cheese nice and melted. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good stir first, and then we're going to pop it in because you want it nice and creamy, so it's still pretty cold. But don't do it all at once because you don't want your cheese to burn. Okay, so this was another minute in the microwave, and I think it's pretty good. I'm just going to make sure the cream cheese gets well incorporated with the chicken. If you really want it like creamier, creamer, creamier, I think eight ounces is pretty good, but I try not to put so much cheese, even though it's really hard, but this looks pretty good to me and it smells really good too. Now we gotta add in some buffalo sauce. So for my buffalo sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and start with half a cup. Depending how spicy you like it or how much you like, you can add a little bit more, but we're gonna see how this goes with just half a cup. Oh, I think half a cup would be perfect. Yes, it is. And this is so easy to make, guys. Like, come on. And it's so good. All right, once you have your buffalo sauce well incorporated, we're just going to wash up some celery. And it's pretty much ready. Now, if you want this for like a game day or like a hangout, a barbecue, something like a family hangout, you could even bake this. So you could put this like in a casserole dish. You could top it with more cheese and anything else you like and bake it so it stays nice and warm for like a gathering. But I like to just pop mine in the microwave, mix it in the bowl because I only eat a little bit of it and then I'll store it for throughout the week. But it's so good, guys. Give this a try. I'm just going to chop up all my celery and then, of course, store it in a container so it's ready when I want to munch on it throughout the week for lunch. So I cut my celery in half. I'm going to have a couple pieces. And then the rest, I like to store in a mason jar with some water in my fridge so it stays nice and fresh. So I'll just take one of these, put my celery in here. The rest that I'm not going to eat. I don't know how many pieces I'm going to have. And then we'll put some water in here. Store it in the fridge. You can put the lid on it, but I like to just store it in there like this. And then it'll stay fresh for throughout the week. We're going to take some of our buffalo dip. 
Try not to eat the whole thing because I know it's hard to. <laughs> it's hard not to. Okay, we got our buffalo dip and then we got our celery. And this is going to be our lunch for today. This is so good and I haven't had this for in forever. So I'm super excited. Y'all give it a try and let me know what y'all think. You guys, this is so good. I haven't had this in so long. This is the way I like to eat it. I just take my celery and dip it in the chicken. And you have yourself. And it's so crunchy. The buffalo sauce is perfect with the cheese. Great flavor. So simple, simple meal, guys. Mm. All right, you guys, so earlier I ate my lunch, and honestly, I just been, like, here at home. I was doing, like, self-care stuff. I did my feet real quick, and I was washing and just doing things. But it's, like, 1 o'clock, and I have to head to the store before I go pick up my kids. I need a few essentials um, for around the house. But before we head there, I'm going to make me some quick coffee because I always have to have coffee when I'm on the go. I did not know why. It's literally an addiction. <laughs> So I mentioned I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow, but while I go get my hair done, my sister-in-law is going to come over and watch my boys because my husband works 13 hours a day. I don't have much family here. It's literally just my husband's family. So I don't really have nobody to watch my boys. Thankfully, she's off on the weekend, so she's coming tomorrow to watch them. And before she comes, like, I'm just cleaning up. I have to clean my boys' restroom. It's not dirty. I need to get some, like, air fresheners, things like that, so it's nice and cozy. And then while I'm there, I'll just pick up some, like, essentials that she could just, like, feed them while they're here. Like, because my boys are constantly eating. Like, they eat everything in sight. So I have snacks here, but I want some warm-up stuff for them. You know, I'm just going to go to H-E-B and see what I find. But we need coffee. So... Yeah, I see that I dropped ice like everywhere okay so we got iced coffee I got my black you know I forgot I had this cup and I popped in my head yesterday I was like where is that cup I have put it up so I got my Starbucks cup we got Starbucks blonde roast I finally found it because they were sold out when I went grocery shopping last week and I just fill it up like almost to the top then I was thinking about going to Walmart but should we go to Walmart or H-E-B Maybe we'll go to Walmart. Okay, we're gonna go in with some skinny syrups. No, because if I go to Walmart, I'm gonna, sh we're going to Walmart. We're going to Walmart. I'm gonna go in with Jordan's Skinny Syrup Salted Dark Chocolate Espresso. Favorite syrup of all time. This stuff is the bomb. Like if, if y'all ask me what Jordan's Skinny Syrup is your favorite, like which one do I recommend? This one, I've gone through so many bottles of this. It's so good, like delicious. So I'm gonna go in with some more than a splash. But I was I was gonna go to H-E-B, but I really wanna go to Walmart. Because I, I got my kids Easter baskets together. If we have time when I come back, I'll probably put their Easter baskets together. But I needed just a few more things. And H-E-B, like, with their holiday stuff, they're a little bit more pricier. So I don't really like to go there and they're limited. So while we're in Walmart, I can just pick up the last few things that I need for their Easter basket. And then I get distracted and I go shopping. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we went in with the heavy splash. Some heavy splash. Heavy cream. Heavy whipping cream. A splash of that. I don't even need coffee. You see how like giggity I am right now? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to make it 10 times better. Oh, this first sip is so good. Wait. Oh, this stuff is so good. I can literally just drink this out the bottle. But this is my midday coffee, okay? This is gonna get us through Walmart, so let's head out. Just arrived to Walmart, so let's go in and grab some things. So I basically got everything for my kids' baskets. I'm just gonna get one of, or two packs of these so I could put everything in the basket and wrap it pretty. I'll probably go buy like an Easter bow. So it's a two pack. I'm gonna get two of these cause I got like three, four baskets to do. And then I just need to buy like their little gifts cause I got so much candy already. My kids are obsessed with Fortnite, just the older two. So I'm gonna get them one each of the Fortnite V-Bucks. While I'm in this aisle, I guess so many people ask me about my air fryer oven and look how many Walmart has. I mean, they have different brands, but this is like the type of air fryer that I use. It's like the oven kind and these are pretty cool. Look at this. Wow, that's for pizza. These things are big. 
like mine is big but i absolutely love it so they have different ones here at walmart if y'all are interested in one since i am just getting the boys these card i'm gonna get them a small toy since i'm gonna get the little one one my older son is obsessed with fortnite and he is always playing with this character so i'm gonna go ahead and get him this one the little one loves puzzles, so I'm gonna get him this little Paw Patrol puzzle. My middle one is a little bit more complicated, but he loves FGTV, so I'm gonna get him one of these. And then I'm gonna get him two of these. Then one more thing for the little one, and then I'm done with the Easter baskets. I like to put these in the toilet. Usually I get the Scrubbing Bubbles one, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. I don't care what y'all say, pine saw smells so good. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one of these Glade sprays for the restroom. Usually I put these, but my boys always knock them down, so I'm gonna put this up top. And I'm filling this one. Okay, so I was grabbing some ice cream, and I've never tried Halo Tops like popsicles. Usually I get the enlightened ones, so I kind of want a sweet treat tonight. So they have these peanut butter chocolate ones. Y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter, but sounds good. Three net carbs, four pops. These are four forty-seven. Uh, sea salt caramel, two net carbs. I'm gonna try this one. So this is a chocolate cheesecake, and then they have the berry swirl. So we're gonna give these a try tonight. This is their chocolate cheesecake halo top, two net carbs per pop. All right, guys, I am done with all of that, and it is officially dinner time. So I had a dinner roll over from last week that I didn't get to eat, so we're going to go ahead and make it today so it doesn't go bad. We're going to make some keto calabacitas. It's so good. Let's get started. Okay, I got everything out that I need. So I do have this recipe in a separate video. It'll pop up at the end of this video for y'all to click on if y'all do want to save the recipe. I'm cutting this recipe in half because it's only for me. So I'm just gonna go in with less ingredients. So we got some mozzarella cheese. Then you're gonna want some crema or some like sour cream like this. We got some cilantro, two calapacitas. So this is a Mexican squash. You're gonna want some onion, some tomato, a little bit of butter. We're gonna go in with some tomato um, bouillon and chicken bouillon. And then we got our pork chops and salt and pepper. So first we're gonna go ahead and start chopping up our veggies. So I'm gonna take my calabacitas. I'm gonna chop off the ends, give them a really good rinse real quick. Then for my calabacitas, I like to cut mine in half. So just go like this, and then I'll just chop them into half pieces. And then you're just gonna put these to the side. If you don't have calabacitas, or like, I don't know, maybe you don't have it near you or something, I mean, you could still use regular zucchini and it'll still be pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and chop up our tomato. I'm gonna put it in my chopper. And then I'm gonna do half this onion since I'm not making like a whole bunch. Now we're gonna take our pork chops and we're just gonna cube these up. Just into bite-sized pieces like this. And then once you have everything prepped, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the stove. This does not take very long at all. It's super quick and super good. We got a pan heating through and I'm gonna melt down some Kerrygold butter. We're gonna first cook down our pork, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the butter. You're gonna wanna cook this all the way through. For right now, we're gonna season the pork with some salt and pepper, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of salt. And some black pepper. And cook your pork till it's no longer pink. Once your pork chops are cooked through, we're gonna start adding in our onion and tomato. We're gonna get these nice and tender for a few minutes. After tomatoes and onion are tender, we're gonna start adding in our calabacitas. 
give this a good mix and we gotta let the calabacitas get nice and tender as well so it's gonna take a few minutes as well and just keep giving it a good stir so i just realized that i ran out of chicken broth so i'm just gonna put some water in here just very little to get it um to help the calabacitas get tender but if you have chicken broth use that all right once your calabacitas is nice and tender we're gonna season we're gonna go in with like a tablespoon of our tomato bouillon And then you're going to go in with the same amount of the chicken bouillon. Then you can add a little bit more salt to taste, but be careful because usually the bouillons, like the tomato and the chicken, they're pretty salty. So be careful and a little bit more pepper. And then you're going to go in with half a cup of your sour cream or crema, whatever you have on hand. You're going to add in half a cup. Go ahead and mix your sour cream in and your seasonings. Make sure it gets well incorporated. I honestly was thinking about having this by itself. Like usually I have it by itself, but I kind of want some cauliflower rice with it. So I'm gonna warm up some frozen cauliflower rice. Okay, once you have it well incorporated, you're just gonna bring this to a simmer and let it continue simmering for about five minutes. Okay, my calabacitas is done. So now we, all we gotta do is top it off. I did put my cauliflower in the microwave just to warm up and I'm gonna season my cauliflower with just salt and pepper because this is gonna be over, poured over top. So we're going in with some shredded mozzarella cheese or whatever kind of cheese that you would like to use on this. And then we're gonna finish it off with cilantro. And then this is how the finished dish look. Usually this kind of dish has corn in it. Trust me, I wish we could have corn on keto, but we can't. So it's per, it's really good without it though. So I definitely recommend it. You could eat it just like this, what usually I do, but I don't know. I feel like having some cauliflower rice with it today. Okay, so for today, we're gonna put down some cauliflower rice. And this just gives it like another filler. And then we're gonna put down our calabacitas. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. It's gonna be a delicious dinner. And here is dinner. Oh my God, I was so ready for this. Guys, if y'all give this recipe a try, I promise you, you will love it. Like I said, it'll pop up at the end of this video for y'all to click on, but I'm about to sit down and enjoy my last meal of the day and then we will get into dessert. And for my drink for tonight's dinner, I'm just gonna go in with one of my favorite drinks, the Propels in the Zero Sugar. This one is a berry flavor, but there's a tons of flavors that you can definitely try. I recommend this drink. This is probably one of the other drinks that I drink other than water, but make sure you have them cold because the taste is different, but these are awesome. Okay, so I ate dinner earlier and before I have my husband come home, I have my husband's little brother coming over and like my niece coming over. Before I have everybody over here for tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and try these Halo Tops before it gets loud in my house. We're gonna go ahead and try the Halo Top chocolate cheesecake, um, two net carbs per pop, three grams of pro protein per pop, Keto Pops chocolate flavored coated frozen dessert. So I haven't tried these. I have tried Halo Tops like ice cream pints and when it first came out, I w it was pretty good. Like I was a fan of them. But then when Rebel came out, I switched to Rebel and Rebel started being my favorite ice cream. But I'm really curious as to how these taste. So let's give it a try. I'm excited. I was like, why not just try them? Because I really wanted something sweet tonight. And I was like, I try to try different things for y'all just to let y'all know how they taste. So chocolate cheesecake. This is the way the packaging looks. Tiny carbs, big taste, all keto. <laughs> I actually tried Halo Top before they started labeling like their ice creams keto and they were just Halo Top. Like they were low in carbs but they weren't the lowest like uh, Rebel is. So this is the way it looks. Looks pretty good. And y'all know I love me some chocolate so hopefully the chocolate is not bitter. So let's give it a try. The way the inside looks. I don't know. Hold on. Let me taste more. Yep, pretty good. It has the swirls in there too. Y'all can see that. Their chocolate, slightly, slightly bitter, but I don't hate it at all. These are actually pretty good. Mm. Oh God. No.
I don't think it tastes like cheesecake, technically. Like, it still has really good flavor, but I don't taste cheesecake. I taste mostly chocolate. Like, it just tastes like chocolate ice cream to me. So, I don't really taste the cheesecake flavor. Maybe slightly, but not, like, overpowering. But it's still, overall, a really good ice cream, and I'm pretty... I'm going to enjoy these. These are really good. And only for two net carbs, definitely treat yourself for these, guys. I try not to buy, like, sweets like this all the time. That's why y'all see me get them, like, every once in a while. Because I try not to have them all the time in my fridge. Because then I would just eat one, like, every single day. You definitely have to treat it like a treat, like a dessert. But these are really good. 10 out of 10 for this flavor. But I'm about to end my night. I'm going to finish up my dessert and call it a day, guys. I got some kids coming over. I got to get my hair done tomorrow. So y'all are going to see some new hair. It's going to be super cute. I can't wait for y'all to see it. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, share with all your family and friends, and I'll see you on the next one.